But okay, it looks like no handlers are going right into it. Um, Pikachu Marth. This is a matchup that has been popularly uh, referred to as very Pikachu favor by a certain Sephiroth Ken. Uh, you don't remember his Kings of Cali commentary back uh, in his first return to the competitive scene in a long time. Talked well, a lot about this about how this matchup is 100-0 Pikachu. Well, I think that uh, our friend. Wait, who's who, which one's the Marth? Who's the Marth here? Uh, is it Anthony or, or Ma Mossy? I'm not sure. It, it looks like Anthony's the Marth. Okay, so I think Anthony has some things to say about that. Obviously, he is not playing Axe. No, he's so, not. Well, once a Marth, you know, just absolutely spanks Axe, then I'll. <laughs> I think we can say th different things. Yeah. Uh, how was he doing against PPU? Uh, I don't really remember. Uh, I, I think he, I think he wins. Uh, I think and it's it's primarily just comes down to the edge guarding. Uh, PPU can never close the stock out. Because I remember it was the summit. Uh, P, uh, PP didn't go to summit too, right? He just went to the original. Right. Yeah. So so it was the original summit and. Uh, P P uh, PPMD was playing against Axe, uh -huh. and Kevin, uh, uh, PPU, got super excited because he's like, let's go, Kevin, because I think he wanted to see what PPMD's responses were, and I think he got a couple, like, ledge hop dares uh -huh. that interrupted Pikachu's recovery, um, which got everyone very excited, like, you know, maybe it's breaking new ground, but then I think the next game, Axe adjusted, and then... Uh, Kevin PPMD had the same issues that Kevin PPU uh -huh. had with the matchup. I really don't. Yeah, I really don't know because I, I feel like the, the big thing is that Marth doesn't have the persistent hitboxes that other characters do. Uh -huh. You know, like like Falco can just do like you know like little ledge hop there and like interrupt. You know, and, and it's just like kind of like a 50-50. Like, are they going to the ledge? Are they going to like you know right above ledge? Yeah. yeah I don't know. How is this for Samus? Uh, the Pikachu yeah. matchup, I have not played it very much, so I, okay. I can't really speak to it. Uh, it's kind of annoying because Pikachu does those like approaching ooh, that sucks. Those those uh, approaching nares that go past your shield, and Samus doesn't really have a great way of dealing with that. Like her up the out of shield obviously only hits basically where she right. is. Um, so the pressure is pretty annoying. But I mean, you know, other than that, Pikachu's like not that good of a character, so that that helps. Similarly, I think, as, as the Marth, you know, even if there are some things that Pikachu uh, is annoying with, like, Marth is a better character, yeah. like, let's be oh, honest, absolutely. so it, it's not, it's not bad for Marth. Yeah, and Anthony, um, he's been doing a little less well this talk. He was up by more earlier, but... Yeah, the S, the S, and uh, you know, can't forget the SD. Like really, like without that mistake, yeah. it would be a fairly even game. Yeah. Uh, both these players have been kind of getting back to the stage for free. Not a whole lot of successful edge guards. Uh, I think, it, as Marth against Pikachu, I think you're right. You do kind of have to call out their options because you you really can't react to where the up is going. And Pikachu almost always has multiple options wherever they want to go. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, so. A lot of players will just sort of give up the ledge. Yeah, and they're like, that's sort of the Dr. Mario recovery, right? You shoot the downward angle projectile, cover the ledge, and then just go to the ledge when they have to get off. Yeah. Um, but I think, uh, I think Anthony definitely could, you know, do some things to at least cover some options, like instead of just trying to, you know, down tilt with forward smash and yeah. missing. Yep, I think just, you know, refresh the invincibility and just, yeah, present that he's not just going to give the ledge every time. I think he kind of gave it up a lot. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, so this is... Uh, I don't understand this. I don't either. Um, maybe he doesn't know he can get chain grab from like 30 to death? Well, he's about to find out. Assuming that... Uh, that Matt... I, I, like, I this is... Go ahead. Well, okay, let's, let's, let's see what Anthony's plan is. Maybe, I, I would think maybe he has some sort of like run and gun strategy, but it doesn't really seem like no. it. He hasn't shot a laser yet. Um, maybe he just feels like. Oh, there's a laser. Oh, there was, yeah, there was an accidental laser, probably. 
Okay, nice. Edge guard. Yeah. No, you don't want to trade there. Oh, oh okay. Well, yep. anyway, it works that was, out. That was, that was uh, I think Anthony could have chosen a better angle to recover from. Yep, agreed. Or a better move, such as Fox Illusion. Yeah, but it's... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's that aggressive. cute, I guess. Yeah, so it looks like... I mean, he's going kind of grab-heavy here. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to trade out so I can go and take care of food and a match that I probably need to play. All right. Uh, but uh, pleasure co-casting with you. All right. So. All right. Hold on. Commentator swap. Ooh. Yeah. So that down smash you want to DI away. Otherwise, Pikachu can land a very dumb combo on you. Hello. That's what we in the showbiz call the mid-game switch off. Let's go. So, I don't know if you were watching this earlier, but uh, Anthony won the first game as Marth. Yeah, I've been watching the whole thing, man. I see Anthony is one, and the Pikachu Massey is zero. Yeah, so so this is what we were saying. Uh, the chain grab makes it so that this Fox switch doesn't make a whole lot of sense, given the stage. Because, as we know, in Super Smash Bros. Melee, you counterpick the stage first, and then your opponent gets to choose a character. But so isn't the fox winning the game? That is true. So, explain, a, explain that one. If we take a results-based approach to analysis, <laughs> then that That's all I would, in fact, justify. We're at the foundry, the man. We're supposed to take a results-based analysis. I see. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like Massey hasn't gotten a whole lot of those big chain grab punishes or anything, so. Uh, oh, maybe Anthony just had the read. All right. Is Massey going to pull it off? We'll see. This would probably be one of the biggest upsets the Foundry's ever seen. That is absolutely 100% true. I can't think of a bigger upset in the history of the Foundry. That, that was a joke, dude. There's been a lot of those things, actually. Oh. I just don't know any, I don't know of any off the top of my head. I can think of one. It happened last week. Who? Uh, it involved both of us. Oh, us? Yeah. Are you talking about when we were commentating that Anthony Massey set? Where oh, Massey, Massey just, just, where Massey no, just good, jumped off and almost killed himself? You, you can survive that if you down the right away. Yeah, he's been missing a lot of guards too. Wait, is Anthony the Pikachu? I'm pretty sure Anthony's the Fox. Okay, I'm just confused. Because wasn't someone Marth the first game? Yes. It was Massey. No, I don't think it was. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I don't. I, honestly, man, the Marth, I didn't. The Marth won the last game and switched to Fox on FD. I'm going to be honest with you. They told me to jump in after the game was over. And I was waiting in the corner, <laughs> and then, and then uh, the Dr. commentator Jones, just, there's, just... There's a little bit of confusion. You know, <laughs> we're still getting used to this new setup. I think I'm doing a pretty great job having not watched uh, any of the match here. Yeah. Hey, I mean, the upset might happen. Oh, man, this Pikachu brought it All back. the way back to even. <gasps> oh, just like Oh, no! I think Dude, Massey that. doesn't care about me. I wanted to that game. Mission complete. Okay. Commentator's curse. Commentator's curse and commentator's blessing is old. It's time for you.